Hey guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be showing you guys how I will be installing this loose deep wig that I did get from iShow Hair Company. And today will be a glueless install. I actually have a video that I posted showing you how to bleach and pluck uh, this wig. And it's the same process for any other wig, but I did give you guys a very, very detailed video on how to do those things and also what I use. So make sure you guys check that video out as well. Now today I will be actually installing the eyeshadow wig and this is a 22 inch and it was their loose deep pattern. I will actually insert the video again of what this wig looked like fresh out the box. This is pretty much the hair after I has washed it. You know, after I have washed it and bleached the knots and I air dried it a little bit and then I blow dried it. But I am going to add some wand curls to it. But this will be a talking through video. So I will explain to you guys what I'm doing step by step. So I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial. And stay tuned. <laughs> straight into this video now the first thing I'm going to do with this wig before I even put it on I am going to take my foundation and today I will be using because this is a frequently asked questions what foundation do I use as far as adding you know the foundation underneath the lace to match mine or my clients uh, skin tone and I do use the Ruby Kisses foundation so I have this in colors 9 10 um, 12 15 14, 15, and 16, and which each one of these foundations and come with like two different shades of, you know, that skin tone. So you can just get about maybe five of them and you should be able to either mix the two colors or use one uh, of each color to match your client's skin tone. So for me, if you are close to my color, um, because with my skin, it's hard to find a foundation that actually fits me. Either something is too light or too dark, but my mom is a makeup artist, so she finally gave me the one that I needed. And I'm actually wearing it now, and it's very natural. I just did a light, you know, spread of foundation, and it's actually like a cream stick foundation or whatever. But nevertheless, I will be using uh, the Ruby Kisses um, level 15 foundation and as you guys can see i don't dug a hole in this thing like i use this all the time but however i'm going to take the shade that's a little bit darker because i felt like this one would be a little too light for me so i'm going to take the one that's a little bit darker and i'm just going to take like you know a regular foundation brush and i just go ahead and i you know dig in that uh foundation with my brush and then i take that and make sure when you're applying it, you want to make sure it's spread on there really good and really even because you want it to really blend the best, you know, as good as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and take this foundation brush and I'm going to apply the foundation, as you can see the difference already, and apply that foundation all in the inside of that lace now another thing I like to do also is I like to go a little bit past the hairline if you watch my bleaching and plucking video I mentioned that as well when it comes to bleaching that I go a little bit past the hairline because you never know if you have to use any extra lace to you know um, cover up your clients hairline depending on what type of hairline they have so please do bleach past the hairline a little bit and also apply your foundation a little bit past the hairline as well and this is what it's looking like so far so I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that okay so now I have the foundation spread it everywhere inside of my lace so now I'm going to go ahead and this is what the hairline looks like after I did the plucking or whatever like that so I'm going to go ahead however and I'm going to actually place the wig on my head. And I'm using the clips in the back of the wig to, like, you know, get it hooked on in the back. Um, especially because this is a glueless install. So, with the hairline being plucked and everything, this is how it's looking so far. It looks very, very natural. And this wig was actually very easy to pluck. And it came pre-plucked, so it wasn't so much work that I really had to do. So it's just really your preference, like how plucked you like your wigs to be and everything like that. And for today, I did not want to actually have a part in my hair. I'm just going to, you know, just 
freelance it pretty much just let it flow whichever way it flow but once i add the curls it would give it more like you know volume and more of a wave that would be back like more of a defined wave so this is what the wig looks like after um i applied the foundation and this is why i say it's very important that you hit all spots because you can really tell that i didn't add any there so i'm gonna go back in with my brush and just touch up that spot Mm. And if you want, um, just to make sure that your lace is really, really blended, you can actually go on the top of that lace and just hit it with the foundation, but not too deep into the hair because you don't want the hairs on the um, wig to change too, too much. Even though I'm probably going to add some mousse and everything to my install, but it is very blended already, as you can see, so you know it's going to blend in with my skin tone perfectly. So, you know, that is step one. Step one is over. Now, as far as my glueless install today, I will be using my baby, the Got To Be Spray. And I will also be running very low because it's my number one, but my Nairobi's Mousse. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray down my hairline from ear to ear using the Got To Be Spray. I'm going to blow dry that on warm because I always use warm heat. Um, when doing any installs, I just do it. Some people do it on cool. It's really up to you. I do it on hot. And I'm going to, like I said, uh, get my wig down from ear to ear using the Got To Be Spray. And then I'm going to cut off the extra lace. And then go in and I actually, you know, I do my extra melting process for my glueless wigs using that Nairobi Smooth. So just stay tuned to what I'm doing. And if it's anything that I need to say, I will make sure I let you guys know. So stay tuned. So another thing that I want to mention that could also make this process a little bit easier, especially if you are a beginner and you know and applying your lace, you can apply the got to be spray on top of the lace as well to make sure that you have it molded down. So at first I was going to do everything underneath, but to make this more beginner friendly, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to apply it on the top you know top front of my lace that way if you are you know new to putting on your wigs it's just you know to give you a better um you'll have better results if you do it this way but when you are spraying the got to be spray make sure you are doing it pretty neatly that way you don't have like the spray running down is getting stuck all over you know all over your face or your forehead so just continue to watch what I'm doing from this point on now. Instead of doing the underneath, we're just going to go on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and work my way towards the sides as well. You want to pull that lace down where you want it to be. And, um, hold on one second. You want to pull that lace down where you want it to be and continue to spray. Now it may get a little bit hard, but that's okay because once I go in with that mousse, that mousse will also soften it up and help it melt better as well. So just, you know, take your time and just follow each of these steps that I am doing and you should achieve great results.
Now, it's very important that you do not cut off any of the extra lace before you actually uh, put it down in place because you may make the mistake of cutting off too much lace, especially around the ear part because that's like a very, very common mistake. It does not matter how long you've been doing hair, it still can be a common mistake for you. So that's why I did not cut any of this lace off around this ear. I'm just going to mold everything in like I mentioned before and then I will cut off the extra lace. So now that I did everything to this side, I'm going to follow these same exact steps on the other side. Okay, so now that everything is down, down, down. At first, I was going to also cut off the lace first and then do the mousse. But, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the mousse process first. And then I'm going to go ahead and then cut off the um, extra lace. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take my Nairobi's mousse and I'm going to also take my comb that I was using and I'm going to uh, place the you know mousse all over the hairline and then I'm going to tie it down using my hair tie I don't have any more um, elastic band so I will actually be using this like little velvet hair tie thing or whatever that I got from my hair store so I'm just going to tie that really really tight around the hairline as it um, basically molds into place so while that's molding I will just go ahead and begin to um, add some wand curls in my hair so we're going to go ahead and take that mousse and apply it everywhere in the front of this hairline and you want to be sure to move very very quickly so just hurry up, you know, get it all on there, and then we're going to tie it down. Okay guys, so I finished curling like the top, you know, front area of my hair and it's been about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, band here to show you guys what it looks like. And as you can see, it's looking very melted, very natural, very neat. And I'm not even going to leave my curls like this. Like, you know, I'm just going to um, tease them out with hand when I get off this, uh, when I get this extra lace off. And I'm just going to play with it. I love how these curls came out. So, as you can see, this hair curls really, really good. However, coming back into this tutorial, um, I do have a brush here. And I'm going to uh, brush out um, my hairline. So now that I went ahead and did that, now I'm going to go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace. And when you're cutting off the lace, you still want to go in that zigzag motion. And take your time. Now I am going to wrap my hairline up once again 
once I get this extra lace cut off because I do want to make it milk the best way possible and this is why I said wait till you actually get everything molded in because now I'm able to cut off the extra lace from around my ears and I'll have to tack you know like the little corner here down and it will be the same thing for the other side so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting that off So now that all that extra lace is off and we want to make sure that it is still super melted into the skin, I'm going to go ahead and touch this corner here, um, the two corners with the got to be spray and then I'm going to take that mousse again and apply it all across my hairline and let that dry in and simmer one more time. But another thing you can do too, um, just you know, take the got to be spray, I'm going to spray it on my finger and I'm just going to like tap it all across the hairline and then dry it and you could just do this and blow dry it and just go back in with your uh, foundation brush and just tap you know if you have a makeup especially you know just tap the makeup on that hairline but if not then you can just use a got to be spray and then take the foam mousse again apply it all over and then tie it down for like the final final meltdown so I'm gonna actually do a little bit of both So I let that go ahead and dry and I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And your lace should look a little something like this. Now I went ahead and melted that all down everything that was still, oh it's so pretty, everything that was still, you know, like lifted a little bit. But now I'm going to go in, like I said, with my uh, foundation brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of that foundation and because I am wearing makeup, um, I don't know if I look it up, um, I am going to actually go in and like tap the front of my lace with that same foundation color that I use just to like make sure it's like super 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 melted into my skin so I'm just gonna go to do that I'm gonna do that from left to right so these are my curls and like I said I was going to comb them out look for my comb and everything else So these are my curls and now I'm going to go ahead and take a wide tooth comb and just like break through it and do the same thing on the other side. I want to put 
put everything over here I can. basically want to play with that or I might want to flip it the other way however you know you just play with your you know like your final look how you want it to go but I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and you did learn something from me today um yeah so thank you guys for tuning in once again I did get this hair from iShow hair company I will have all the details listed down in the description box in the description box below so please take advantage of those coupon codes everything you have to get more discounts the hair is already affordable but to get a bigger discount make sure you guys do use those coupon codes and i want to thank you guys for tuning in to i am beautiful hustler tv till next time